Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, how are you guys doing lately? The uh, situation got more and more strict and all the Starbucks in big cities are closed down, which is a huge deal for me, but lucky for me, they're still running and open where I live. But one of the shops I always go to, they actually closed the sitting area. They now only take to-go orders, which is totally understandable. And I hope all these efforts we put into paid off as soon as possible. So I was thinking about what I would talk about in the next video and I haven't talked about my experiences abroad so I thought it'd be a good topic to share with you guys since a lot of you guys are learning English and interested in living abroad. My very first time living abroad was in the US and, and that was my very first time to even go abroad and I lived in near LA, Los Angeles, Granada Hills to be precise so I was in the States for learning dancing, basically, and mainly street dance, but I also learned classic ballet and jazz and stuff like that. And back then I lived in a dorm with a bunch of other Japanese students. To be honest, I hadn't really gotten a chance to go out freely because most of us were underage. I, w I was 18 and they were the peers with the same age as me and one year older than me. So we were not allowed to go out, especially after getting dark. So I haven't been to club or anything and we were not allowed to take buses either. So only places we were allowed to go were supermarket and the Target store that took us uh, 15 20 minutes to go so there were a few field trips where we were allowed to go further Melrose or uh, Venice Beach or uh, stuff like that but, but that was only once I remember and I went to Las Vegas once for a dance competition and it was end of July and it was super hot it got more than 40 degrees daytime and the nighttime was freezing. Yeah, I remember there was a news said there were a bunch of homeless people who died from the heat. So Las Vegas in summer is incredibly hot. Yeah, like unbearably hot, but not as unbearable as in Japan. Because in Japan with the heat, there's humidity as well. And I hate, I hate the humidity. Yeah, I heard a lot of people complain about the water quality being bad or stuff like that or the air being so dry so they have a hard time taking care of their skin. But for me, since I have such oily skin, my skin got super super smooth when I was in LA. The exact same thing happened when I visited Europe. So basically my skin gets really really bad when I'm in Japan. If I'm in somewhere really dry weather, yeah, my skin gets really really glowy and really nice. I didn't have any complaints about weather because weather in LA is glorious. If you if you ever visited LA, you know what I'm talking about. So in the West, in a Euro European countries and uh, probably a North American area, they have summertime, right? So it's still bright out even after uh, 8, 8 p.m. or stuff like that maybe uh, 9 to 10 p.m. it's still bright outside and basically there's no cloud in the sky and the air is super super dry and I love about it so despite living in LA my interaction with local people was very very limited I only interact with uh, some instructors we had at the dance academy or the sales clerks at the nearest supermarket. Yeah, I remember the guy named Mario. He was super, super nice. <laughs> so I was 18 back then and a lot of Asian people looked younger. So a lot of my peers looked like, you know, 13, 14 to local people, but me, somehow, I looked older for them. <laughs> yeah, I believe it wasn't Mario, the other guy. I forgot his name, but he told me, you drink sake, right? You look older than 21. And I was like, what? <laughs> Even in the States? So yeah, I've looked older than my age my entire life until maybe age of 28. Right now, I'm 33. And uh, apparently to uh, Western people, I look much younger than my age. So when I was in Paris, uh, I was 28. 30 years old and all the people I've met said that I look 25 and I was like whoa <laughs> I look much older my entire life but suddenly I look younger than my age yeah that's very comforting actually <laughs> my struggle finally paid off <laughs> yeah I didn't really have a racist 
experience in LA because basically I was surrounded by you know my Japanese peers and yeah all the people I've met never looked me in a you know racist way or I've never experienced that there was one time I was wearing a t weird t-shirt at 99 cent store do I still have the t-shirt yeah I bought that t-shirt on a, a school trip it has a big a big writing says bean boning on the back and and the little one on the front I had a really weird taste in t-shirts I was just into something weird <laughs> yeah, so I bought the t-shirt on a school trip uh, in Hokkaido. I believe it was Otaru or something. You know the t-shirt uh, with uh, Uminchu logo on it? So they had a bunch of you know other weird t-shirts. So I was wearing that weird t-shirt and <laughs> a local woman came up to me and asked, do you know what that means on your t-shirts? Like very concerned looking like you know maybe she thought i was wearing a t-shirt with those chinese letters on without knowing the meaning i was very aware of the meaning and uh, yeah the way she was very concerned about me wearing the t-shirt was yeah <laughs> kind of hilarious but yeah i believe she was worried from the you know good reason good heart yeah i'm very appreciative for that <laughs> basically living in la i hadn't had any unpleasant experience at all or maybe i was just too naive to notice anything racist i don't know but everything i've experienced in la was very agreeable yeah so it gets really hot in la during summer but like i mentioned earlier it's super dry so if you go into shade it's even freezing yeah even during the summer yeah so if you ever go travel in the area make sure you have a long sleeve something just in case yeah if you go outside during the night i think it gets cold yeah so it gets really hot and dry during the daytime so i remember not taking a shower for two days straight because all the sweat gets dry in a couple of hours and i felt very clean <laughs> yeah so in la yeah that's the weather yeah, it's completely different from Japan. I really miss the weather in LA. Maybe sometime in the future when this coronavirus gets resolved. Yeah, I like to visit LA again. Yeah, there was one time one guy hit on me on the road. So I was walking to one post office that was like 40 minutes walk away from where I lived. And yeah, there was a guy uh, talked to me uh, from his car. He asked me if I needed a ride. I remember he looked kind of uh, handsome and back then I was virgin, okay? <laughs> I, had, I had zero experience with men. So I was like, oh, a handsome guy talked to me on the road. And I was like, yeah, got, got a little <laughs> excited. What are you thinking, am I right? Yeah, <laughs> but he was nice. And I got into his car and he asked me a bunch of questions like oh, what I was doing. I said, I'm learning dancing, blah, blah, blah. And he said, something like he was lawyer now i understand what it means but he certainly didn't look like one <laughs> i don't know so he claimed that he was a lawyer he took me to the post office and i was like maybe i shouldn't have done that maybe i should walk home uh he was waiting for me in a parking lot but you know i kind of ignored him and started walking but he he immediately noticed and started following me hey you what are you doing just just get in <laughs> and i was like oh, okay and i got into his car he asked me uh, where i want to go next and i said uh can you take me 99 cent store and he took me there and he parked a car he said he wanted to kiss me. <laughs> yeah, like I said earlier, I was 18 and virgin. I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> what? So, <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have kissed him, you know? <laughs> I don't know. But then he took my hand and started to kiss on the back of my hand. I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I was so naive, you know? <laughs> oh. So nothing happened afterwards. He he just let me go and uh, he asked me my phone number, but I didn't have one. Maybe he gave me his number, I don't remember. And later that day, I told what happened to one of the senpai and she got really upset and she reported to the teacher. And <laughs> guess what happened? So we were all allowed to go outside before getting dark 
But since I did something really stupid, they changed the rule to something more strict. Like after that incident, we couldn't go out alone. <laughs> if you want to go out for grocery shopping, you have to take one of the peers. <laughs> Yeah, so I made the rule. Yeah, so because of my stu stupidity, you know, everybody had to pay. Yeah, <laughs> I learned something, definitely. Yeah, but also I need to be grateful for nothing dangerous happened to me. Thank God that self-claimed lawyer uh, didn't do anything bad for me, like, you know, kidnap me or anything. Yeah, he was just, um, you know, creepy guy who was into minor. <laughs> Wait. So I was 18, and I think I said I was 18 to him, so is he really a lawyer? Because if he was one, he was willing to break the law, right? Hmm. <laughs> if you're young kids under 21, don't fall on the stranger, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that was my experience uh, living in the States. Yeah, I thought I was gonna talk about countries that I visited, but I think I talked long enough for what I've experienced in the States, so yeah. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about the experience that I had uh, visiting other countries than America. And maybe I will make a, a separate video talking about what it was like living in France. So if you're excited about uh, watching that video, uh, let me know in the comments down below and if you like the video don't forget to like the video okay so let me reiterate how stupid and reckless i was you should never follow strangers you should never get into a stranger's car bear in mind that i was incredibly lucky anything worse could have happened to me but i was just super super lucky so bear in mind if you do follow a stranger you could let anything bad happen to you so just be careful if someone doesn't know comes up to you, especially if you're not comfortable speaking in English. Yeah, so that's all I wanted to add. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get a notification every time I upload a video. Bye guys.